Okay, this is a Mustard R75 streamer, size 4. This is the Cottus Gobi or a Sculpin. So what we'll do is we'll put some tying thread on. I use Dyneema for this. So we just go back a wee way. We can start in the middle there. Go to here. Like that. We need some Siberian Squirrel, naturally brown. Just cut a small bunch of that, stack it. This is for the tail. So what I do here first is I just put on a bit of varnish before we tie this in. Bit too long there. That's looking good. Spin up my Dyneema. back to about there. That's perfect for us. Remove that. Then we need a length of copper wire. Let's take this back to the tail base. Like so. And we just hang that out the way. Fold over the end of that. So it doesn't go anywhere. Go back to here. And make a dubbing loop. Back up with a tine thread. And then this is a an Antron Squirrel Bright blend of dubbing. Put it thinner at the back, getting thicker as I go forward. Put my dubbing spinner on. Spin that up, just pull out what I don't require, and then I can wind this on. this tie that off and remove the dubbing loop just brush this out this is just to give the body some volume and a little bit of flash. That's perfect, couldn't be better. So now what we need is a squirrel zonker. This wants to be just a little bit longer than the tail and we want to tie it in there. Perfect. With the squirrel zonker as well, I trim the end of the Zonka strip to a point and this gives a lot better and it's much nicer presentation and it swims better. Just cut that off there. That's perfect and we'll just tack this in loosely at the front. Then we take our wire now, use a needle for this I'm going to tie this in Matuka style. Look at that. Don't like that first one. So that's better. Yeah. 
Try and keep each rib evenly spaced. It doesn't make a difference for the fish, but it makes a difference on how the end fly will look. I'm always occupied with that. Secure that with your Dyneema. Just remove that with friction. Excellent, that's perfect. Couldn't be better. So, what we need now is two pheasant church window hackles. And these are, we have to strip down like this one for each side. Okay, <clears throat> that's our two fins done but just before we do that, put those in, just pull out the dubbing in the body between the ribbing. That's good, that's good. And a squirrel coat there, just get that out as well. Excellent. That's exactly how we should be going. Now we take our fins and we tie these in. Maybe a bit shorter. Good, and the one on the other side. Those will do us nicely. Get rid of the stems. Now, make another dubbing loop. My tying thread forward, dubbing spinner, and I've loaded. You can use a different fur here, but I've loaded a large petty jean clip with a with some natural brown kangaroo fur. We put that in the loop, and we spin that up. Exactly the same way you would make a fur hackle. So we start winding this in into the fins and we fold everything back with each turn. Working our way forward all the time. Good. Get in there, tie this off. Get rid of that. And now, one more dubbing loop. Can't get enough fur in the first one, so. Our second kangaroo strip, put that in and spin him up. We can go in now, pushing this tight together with each turn as we're going to form a, a fur head here that we're going to pack as we go along and clip 
to the correct shape when I've come out at the front. finish with the tying thread and then what we want is our brush and give that a real good brushing to release all the fibers and everything wants to go to the rear This is uh, one of my favourite big fish flies for the rivers. So, and all we can do is just like with deer hair, is form the head. But you don't want to cut these long ones off at the back here. I want this to go over the squirrel wing. Just. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, get to the eyes. I'm going to drop a super glue on the back of them. We want these slightly on top. At an angle. That's us finished. That's the Cotter's Gobi or the Big Fish Sculpin. And it, uh, when it gets wet and it all streamlines, starts pulsating, it's a brilliant, brilliant fly. And of course you can weight it if, if required, but I generally fish it on a heavy sink tip. Thanks for watching.